to the same motherfucker that I always been. Hey, what's good everybody, it's CJ Beats, we're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how you can import your sounds, any sounds from kits and uh, whatever you downloaded from the internet, um, how you can import those into Logic Pro X. So let's get started, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new software instrument, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, use the Ultra Beat first. If it doesn't appear under your recent, uh, your recent plugins, just go to Ultra Beat down here, in stereo, okay. And uh, let's go ahead and import a sound. So I'm going to go to my browser on the top right here. I'm going to go to all files. And then I'm going to uh, click on this uh, monitor button. And here I have an external hard drive where I have a lot of sounds in, drum kits and stuff like that. And I'm going to double click on that, go to my drum kits. So this is how you can navigate you know, to parts of your computer uh, easily and import uh, sounds directly from your computer into logic for use all right i like using the drag and drop uh, function in ultra beat so i'm going to go here and i have drag and drop already saved if you click it like this it'll come up in order to find it you go to drum kits and uh, then drag and drop samples all right this will allow you to import your own sounds into um, the various keys here okay so i'm going to start uh, by importing a kick first I'm just gonna go with a, a kit that I recently got here. Let's use the Cash Money AP official drum kit. Go to Kicks, and I'll just import Kick One. So I just dragged and dropped that into this sample bay right here. Now, if I go to C1 on my keyboard, I should be able to play back that kick. For the next one, I can use a snare. So go back one for snares. Snare one. Okay. Now you can also use. Um, let's try to make this tutorial short. You could also use the S EXS24 sampler. That's a good idea if you're using hi hats and stuff like that. So you could pitch them. So you could find the EXS sampler here. Uh, I'd go in mono. If you uh, don't have this ed edit button here, what you're gonna do is go to Logic Pro X. You're gonna go to Preferences, Advanced Tools. And just make sure that your advanced tools are enabled. Alright, so I'm going to hit edit. And let's go ahead and search for a uh, search for a hi-hat really quick here. Let's use that same kit. So now I can play these back on my keyboard in different pitches. And that's how you import sounds into Logic Pro X uh, from your computer. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. I appreciate you taking the time out to watch it. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name's CJ Beats, and I'm out for now. Peace.